The next cut we're going to do is a uh, just cleaning up the edge, putting a double radius top and bottom and removing a little bit of the edge to give it a super nice planed surface. So to do that we've got the radius knives in both cutters. It looks something like that. So once again this cut takes a little setting up the first time uh, for whatever thickness you're running but uh, you can keep track of your shims, uh, you know, write that down and next time you do it it's going to be pretty easy. So we're, we're setting the cutter up like you would a groover, you know, face to face. Be a little different than what we've been doing. We're going to take, we've got the fence set at zero for the outfeed, and we've offset the infeed fence by one millimeter. So we're going to remove the entire edge uh, just to give a real clean, planed edge. And at the same time, we'll be putting a radius top and bottom. So in a case like this, I'm going to get my fence halves close, you know, probably within a quarter inch of the knife. You don't want to try to get it too close. That's close enough. Tighten those down. And this fence has to be dialed into the cutting circle of the cutter which is 160. So when we're taking the whole edge we cannot use the Agner fingers but so I've moved the uh, fence in just as snug as I can. And actually I can put the top fingers in just for a little added protection. So I'm gonna just I'm just gonna run this in just a little bit to show you the offset. And then we'll use the feeder to do the whole length of it. So you can see that we've removed millimeter and putting the radius both sides that gives us a nice very nice clean edge and we'll set the sh uh, feeder up and do the entire length of it here now now people ask me why the one millimeter well it's, it's just easy everything I do is based on taking a millimeter off now if I were working in inches, which we used to do, we would just take a sixteenth off just to keep, uh, keep things as simple as possible. So the reason for removing one millimeter on this is this came through my S4S machine. Uh, the knives are getting a little dull, I got a little nick there. So if I remove a millimeter off this edge, I've got a nice, real nice clean surface. And so to do this, your, your fence has got to be set very precisely. The uh, fence on a shaper is just like a jointer. It's got to be perfectly square. It's got to be perfectly coat planer, one fence to the other. And anyway, once you get that dialed in, it's pretty easy. It's, think of it as a jointer, but it's leaving me a nice clean edge here. Now, the one millimeter off, 4 16th on door and window parts, there's another reason for that. So when we're running these profiles on the windows, we're removing a one millimeter on this edge. And there's a few reasons. Uh, we've got a small radius there, so you wanna you wanna get the entire edge. So if you try to set that up not to remove anything, you know, if it bumps away from the fence. Uh, 
chances are you're not going to get that nice little finished radius. The other reason is on these male and female cuts, you want to make sure that your, your, your profile and counter profile fits. So if you don't take the millimeter off, the fit may not be exactly right. So as long as that millimeter is coming off, it uh, should be good. well planed clean edge no snipe because we've got our fence set correctly <laughs> 